Pride voters in three states. This occupied country and promised to liberate it from illegal immigrants, while Ms. Harris appeared Saturday Night Live. Ali Geary reports. Has a close encounter with the competition walking past Donald Trump's plane. In battleground states, the race for the White House is on a knife edge. Wish I could talk to some of my peers, you know, a black South Asian woman running for president, preferably from the Bay Area. <laughs> Vice President Kamala Harris appeared on comedy show Saturday Night Live, taking part in a sketch alongside actor Maya Rudolph. Politicians have a long history of cameos on the programme, though so close to election day is unusual. Meanwhile, in North Carolina, one of the key swing states, he said he would stop illegal immigration. The United States is now an occupied country. Can you imagine having to say we're an occupied country? But it will soon be an occupied country no longer. On November 5th, 2024, it will be Liberation Day in America. More than 75 million people have already cast their ballots. Now the candidates continue efforts to win over undecided voters, as polls suggest a remarkably close race. Anna Geary, ITV News. Conservatives, Kenny Badenoch has been laying out her plans for the party this morning. She's also a shadow cabinet to a point before they meet for the first time on Tuesday. And our political reporter, Jasmine Kamanchaleshi, is here. So, Jasmine, what do we know of Kenny Badenoch's plans? So, as you say, she's uh, spoken this morning where she gave us a little bit of insight into her thinking. She reflected on where she felt previous uh, Tory governments went wrong. She argued that under Boris Johnson's premiership, there was perhaps a perception that MPs were in it for themselves. But she also argued it was important to be uh, honest about the state of the country and honest about her party. I think that there are hard truths, not just my party, but for the whole country. And that is that as a country, we are getting poorer, we are getting older. I'm very optimistic about what we can do. But simply just saying things and making promises to the whole country without knowing how you're going to deliver them, as we did on Brexit, as we did on Net Zero, I don't think is, uh, is building uh, trust. Uh, 24 hours. She's got some big events coming up. Uh, her first shadow cabinet meeting on Tuesday, key interviews on Wednesday. And of course, she's having to choose from quite a small pool of Tory MPs. There's only 121 of them in total. And I think the big question is whether she chooses to fill her camp with allies or whether perhaps she extends an olive branch to those MPs who weren't backing her in the race. Because of course, she's trying to uh, get the Conservatives back into power, but no, she needs to unite the party behind her too. Okay, Jasmine, thank you. are gathering in central London for a march demanding tougher action to keep the UK's rivers and seas clean. An immediate review of existing laws and regulations on water pollution and how they are enforced by Aisha Zahid is at the starting point in Westminster and sent us this a few minutes ago. Well, this march is all about protesting against pollution in the UK's waterways, pollution in seas, lakes and rivers. They're expecting thousands to turn out today. More than 130 organisations are involved in the march. It's been organised by River Action um, and some of the organisations attending include Greenpeace, WWF and the National Trust. There's big profile names too. Chris Packham and Bear Grylls will be in attendance. Uh, and they've got one simple um, issue that they're calling on. They want the government to tackle pollution in the UK's waterways. To give you some context behind that, sewage spills doubled in 2023. There were 3.6 million hours of spills. That's compared to only 1.75 million in 2022. Labour have promised reforms, but what they want to see here is action being taken.
has been charged with attempted murder after a 13-year-old girl was stabbed in East Yorkshire. The victim was found with life-threatening injuries in Hessel near Hull on Friday morning. She remains in a critical but stable condition in hospital. Actor and comedian Russell Brand over claims of historical sexual abuse. The Met Police has passed its findings to them after investigating the allegations of four women who accused Brand of assaults between 2006 and 2013. He has denied the accusations. And in Spain, thousands of soldiers have begun to reach the areas devastated by floods this week to help in the recovery and cleanup operation. More than 200 people died after torrential downpours five days ago caused historic flash flooding in Valencia. World premiere of Paddington in Peru in London's West End this afternoon. Dear Aunt Lucy, we're coming to Peru. Oh, hope is out It's the third film in the Paddington series starring Brendan Shaw, Hugh Bonneville and Olivia Colman and will feature a special guest appearance by the late Queen Elizabeth. Well, the film's producers say the palace allowed them to include a photograph of the Queen taking tea with Paddington on her platinum jubilee. Ah. Until then, have a good day. Bye-bye.